So I'm going to share my testimony on how I learned how to wait on God. Um, some four years ago, after I completed my high school, I really wanted to go to school, to university. So I applied different universities. They were not picking me. My results were good, but the universities were just not picking me. And then uh, my parents never had enough money to pay for my school. So most of my friends that I was with in high school and uh, primary, they were going to school. Some of them, they went outside the country, China, France, Cyprus. And then me, I was just there, right, in Zambia. And I felt like, OK, what is God saying about my issue? So I would try and try. I never gave up. Sometimes I would even pray and fast because I felt like time is running out. And you know how people would ask you sometimes, when are you going to school? When are you going to school? Look, time is going. And I would feel like I'm late. I need to go, especially if my friends maybe share a post on Facebook. I will feel like, what about me? When is my time coming? So it was really frustrating, but I decided to just um, start taking things in my own hands. There was a time when um, I wanted to like, also apply to go outside. So I went to this, um, this uh, certain consultancy. They help people like going outside, uh, applying online and stuff. So when I went there, they didn't give me the proper guidelines on how to go about it. And then later on, after I, I paid the the application fee, I was told, no, the, it has expired because you were supposed to first write an exam, but they didn't tell me that before applying. And I was swindled. That's how I had to forget about that. Again, I tried somewhere else. I paid the application fee. They said, we'll give you a scholarship, whatever, but still more, nothing happened. So I sat and I was wondering, what, what is God saying about this? Because I thought, I thought maybe I shouldn't just pray and sit down. I thought I should also push and try to make a move. Because sometimes when you pray and you just sit, nothing will happen. So I decided to also like push and see what I can do. But still more, nothing happened until I just gave up and said, mm -mm. Maybe I should forget about school. Maybe school is not my thing because I really, really wanted to be in school. I really, really wanted to be in school, but things were just not happening. They were expected. Until one time, I finally applied at uh, Evelyn Horn College. And it, it wasn't even something that I was, I was even like, OK, this is finally my time. I just did it like, by the way, like, anyway, let me just try because, you know, and then I didn't even expect that they're going to accept me. Then they just accepted me. They called me, they sent me an email and things just fell into place. Like I didn't even have to push the way I was, I was trying to push. Things just fell into place. And that's what usually happens when you just let God do the rest. Things will just fall in place. That's why even in the in the song I said, Ntawiya came as Ibika. When God's time has come, it's very easy for you to know because things will just fall in place. You don't have to push, you don't have to struggle and try to do things on your own. You end up losing money, you end up getting frustrated just like the way it was. So when you just let things be, when you just say, Lord, do it, it's going to happen at, at its own time. The Englishman says, a washed pot never boils. So when you are right there and saying, when are you doing this? When are you doing this? It won't happen. It takes time. That's why I, I said, Mulungu uh, in a time frame, yake. Usually we want God to do things in our time and not his time. We want our will to be done and not his will. So this experience that I had waiting on God, it helped me to learn that we should be patient on God and we shouldn't be taking things in our own hands. We should... Pray, but let God do what he should do. Because in the midst of trying to push things on your own, you end up getting more, more frustrated and you think God is not, is not there. And if you're not careful, you even end up using wrong words and, you know, saying something that you're not supposed to say. 
and you end up grieving, grieving the Holy Spirit. So I learned how to wait on God. And it wasn't easy because even in the long run, sometimes I'll come, I'll come across maybe some people who are giving me some other ideas. No, maybe you can just, you know, try to borrow money from Kalova or use the student loans. I tried student loans also, but still more, it was just not working. There's a certain institution where they said they give student loans, so I even applied. I paid, uh, I think the, the application fee was supposed to be 1,000, but I only had 500 at the moment at that time. So I paid 500. So when I, when I reached the same office, I met this certain girl who, I was listening to the music that she was playing. She was playing some songs for Bethel music, Hill song. So I asked her like, what song is that? Then she told me, oh, can you send me all the songs you have? That's how we started sharing music. And then after I paid, I filled in the application form. I went, I went, um, I went back home. Then in the evening, she called me and said, can you come to the office? So I got worried, like, why, why is, haven't I already paid the money? She said, no, just come to the office. There's something I want to tell you. So I was like, okay, that's how I, I went there. Then she told me, no, you know what? Um, we've just felt guilty about this. We can't, we can't do this to you because we've seen you love music and after sharing this music with you, we've just felt it. We've just fought it upon our hearts to tell you that this scholarship thing, it's, it's, it's just, it's a hoax, it's fake. And our boss is just getting money from people. He's, he's, he's a crook and he's just trying to use this money for his own means. Otherwise there's nothing like scholarships. We don't even give scholarships. So we just thought we should give you back your money and sorry for trying to lie to you. We just felt guilty. So I was like, ish, okay. I was, I was thankful to God, okay, that at least I didn't waste my money. But again, I also learned that I, I, I should have heard from God. I was just trying to do things in my own power. And that's what happens usually when you don't want to wait on God. So it was really hard for me. It was hard, very, very hard to just wait on God. It's not an easy thing. It's honestly not an easy thing, but I, I thank God I waited. And, you know, sometimes it is during such circumstances where we tend to lose it, even as youths, you lose it and you just say, I, I think I'm, I'm done with this. I'm done with this Christian thing. Let me do things on my own. My name is Natula and that is my story. <laughs>